Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how to check whether element is clickable or not. So, I have created one HTML, guys. In that, I have given few styles for my submit button. The first one, I have given submit, which is visible. Second one, I have given a submit button, which is display as none. Third one, I have given hidden. So, this is hidden. This is display as none. It is going to be displayed. Fourth one, I have given a con submit button inside a box. So, element within an element. So, fifth one, I have given submit button, which is dis disabled. The rules are, first rule is the element should exist. The element should be visible. The element should be the viewport, should be within the viewport. So, if it is in the viewport, it will say it is clickable. So, its center is not overlapped with the other element. It is not disabled. Now, let us see how the submit.html, uh, this page, looks like in the browser. So, as you can see, the first element is submit. This is a uh, first one, which is visible. So, this visible, visibility is visible and submit is uh, the value. Second one is display equal to none. So, it is submit hidden. Okay. So, if I try to open this, if we try to see this, see, it is not even recognized because it display equal to none. Okay. The third one you can see, this is visibility hidden. But even though visibility is hidden, I can still recognize it. Okay. See, visibility is hidden. So I can recognize it. Fourth one is container box. In that one submit button is there. Okay. So element within element. So it is still recognized so last one is element disabled so you can see it is white uh, it is disabled here okay so we can't click it so now let us apply this clickable method for all these elements so is clickable will give us the boolean value okay so let me copy so let me take this one copy it so i will go to my check element clickable I'll paste it here. So I don't want this entire thing. First, see it is a display submit dot html. Okay. So let me take the first element. Let us copy this only. The first element will be if I add the value, value equal to submit. Instead of type, if I add value equal to submit. So it is taking the first element. Okay element which is visible okay so copy this i'll uh, paste it here this will be in double quotes instead of is displayed it's uh, is clickable that's it so submit visible so i'll paste it here okay let's see this scenario it should be true so submit visible so can be clicked okay submit visible can be clicked so let me run this okay it has launched the browser. It has closed it. It has passed. Okay. Anyway, I we can give the browser dot pass for our more understanding, right? So let me copy this one browser dot pass. So let us not pass for five seconds. That was huge in the last. Uh... So I'll give away browser dot pass. Just pause it for three seconds. Okay. That's it. And here check whether the element is clickable. That's it. Copy this. Paste it here. So anyway, uh, we'll see the result here. It should be somewhere here only. So submit visible can be clicked. True. So this is the answer we have. Okay. So what I'll do, anyhow, we have run this. Right? Let us uh, take the values of others also. So what is there another one? Submit hidden. Okay. It is uh, recognized, but it's not showing in the DOM itself. So copy. Let me copy this. So let me paste it here. Okay. So next one is submit visible. So visibility is hidden. So we can see, but it is hidden. So maybe I can write submit visibility hidden. Okay. Let me go back to the code. So submit visibility hidden. Okay. So let me copy this. Let me paste it here. Let me reload this page. Okay. Submit visibility hidden. So let me copy this. Go to the code. Paste it here. So another one. So 
So container box submit disabled. Copy this. Paste it here. The one disabled, but let me copy this. Submit disabled. Okay. Copy this. This submit overlaid. Okay. Submit overlaid. So input value. Submit overlaid. Okay. So these are the things which we have got. So now let me copy this. Three seconds at the end. Okay. Let me copy this. Paste it here. I'll just write submit hidden. So it is value only. So I'll write value here, submit hidden. So submit hidden, that's it. So it should be submit hidden. So let me copy this. Let me paste it here. So instead of submit hidden, it is visibility hidden. Submit visibility hidden. So it is value only. So submit visibility hidden. Submit visibility hidden. Let's see whether these can be clicked or not. Okay. Third one is overlaid. So I wrote disabled before that. So it is overlaid. Let me copy this. Even suffer submit overlaid. The code is same. So let me see submit overlaid. That's it. Submit overlaid. Submit overlaid. The last one is a hidden one. So let us copy this submit hidden here. So instead of value, it is placeholder. So it is submit disabled. Submit disabled. Okay. Let me delete this all. So at the end, I want it to pause for three seconds. Okay. So since the program will be very fast, so let us now see it. So CLS. So now execution will start. It would have launched the browser. The yeah, browser is launched. So all the elements will be loaded. Three seconds, that will close the browser. Now it is identifying the elements. Yeah, this close the browser. Now the test has passed. Let us see what is the answer we got. Submit overlay. Okay, before submit overlay, we have submit disabled. Submit disabled can be clicked false because it is disabled. We cannot click. It is here. Okay. Submit disabled. You can be clicked. The top one. So submit overlaid was an element. It's not an element. So it was overlaid. It can be clicked. True. So submit visibility hidden. It was visibility hidden was a style. It was not visible. So it is not clickable. False. So submit hidden. The It was display none. So it was not even in the DOM. It was there in the DOM, but it is not even recognized in the DOM. Okay, submit can be hidden, hidden can be clicked, false. So now the first one, submit can be clicked. So submit visible can be clicked, it is. So I'll add the program in the description. Okay, I'll cover this in another video, how we have added it. So I'll add the video description for this in the top right corner of this video. Hope you have liked the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.